Hey guys, it's Kilari. I'm back and today I wanted to share a quick video about my top five winter essentials for horse, rider, and around the barn. This is going to be a quick video and I have notes on my phone. So for the first category, I'm going to be talking about horses. One of my favorite things for Southern California climate, it's kind of mild compared to most places. So it might not seem like an essential for other people, but for my climate it is. I really love the Incredaware wraps. It's a really great way to ice your horse's legs without getting your hands freezing cold. So basically you just put them on like a regular polo wrap, you can ride in them, you get the therapeutic benefits while riding. Then when you're done riding, you just put um, water like straight from the hose. It can be hot water from the hose, it can be cold water from the hose. And it has some kind of reaction and it actually turns ice cold and it ices your horse's legs. So it's a really easy way of icing without getting your hands freezing cold, having to like pack ice and ice boots or go in the freezer and all that. So that's great. Another product I've been using that's relatively new to me, it's the first winter I've used this, but it's the Mary's Botanicals Hoof Spray. I absolutely love this stuff and I'm going to be buying plenty more bottles. I've used it on three different horses the whole winter, multiple times a week, each horse, and I'm still, I don't know, what is that, like a third of the bottle left? So basically it's antifungal and antibacterial spray. You can spray it directly in their hooves, their frogs on the outside um, to get rid of thrush and you can actually shake it up really well before you use it and spray it on any scratches or fungus on the horse's legs. So I've been using this on Ami's fungus on the back of his pasterns. It's not scratches, it's not your normal type of fungus, it's something like completely different. But this seems to really help and it's gentle and doesn't scald their skin or react bubble up like some funguses can be a little bit harsh I um, really love this stuff 100% recommend she has a website I will link it down below and she is currently offering free shipping in the US another Mary's Botanical product that I've been loving although I think it is in my grooming tote one second I thought I had it ready but I didn't where is it? Uh, is it on these grooming tote? where is it? aha found it. It's the Velvet Coat Spray. So it's just really good. It's kind of like a show sheen except it doesn't attract dirt and it doesn't leave the surface of the hair super slick so your saddles and saddle pads aren't slipping around and sliding. This stuff is great and it's 100% all natural. And along the same line, I really like to use, although it's kind of empty, the Healthy Hair Care Pink Hair Moisturizer. You buy it in a concentrate and you dilute it with water. This stuff is really good, although I need to buy a new bottle. And this is just the dilute spray bottle I use at the Mary Sale. But anyhow, I use it in their manes and tails to keep their coat and their mane and tail with the combination of the... Where did I put it? You don't have the bottle it came in? No, I threw it away. I just used the last of it and I need to buy a new one. Um, so I use this on the body of the horse and I use this on the mane and tail of the horse. And it, it makes a really good combo with both. Uh, because in the winter you can't really bathe your horse, so it's a nice way to keep them moisturized. And then, I think that was all for the horses. Oh, so I've been using the Back on Shack Hawk, Hawk Wraps for Ami because he gets really stiff in the winter and the cold nights. And it really helps to loosen him up before it rides. Alright, for the rider, I use sunscreen every day of the year. I reapply multiple times a day. Just because it's winter doesn't mean you should not be using sunscreen. It's raining outside right now, but I have sunscreen on and I reapply throughout the day. It's really important as riders and anybody out in the sun to take care of your skin. Um, vests and jackets. I love vests. I have them in all different weights. I have jackets in all different weights. This is a relatively new jacket for me. It's the Dover Salary Crown Parka jacket. It has a removable hood. Um, basically any jacket will do. You want to make sure it's warm or warm enough compared to what climate you're in but it's always important to have something that's waterproof and has a hood a removable hood is a plus but it'll really help you on really cold days rainy days just really nice to have layers and lots of options to choose between layering and so then what makes that jacket better to ride in this jacket oh well, this one's designed for riding so um, at the back you can just unvelcro it and then it gives you a little flap for riding the saddle um it has the little thumb holes and the little wrist thingy built in so you don't get the air and the cold rain and snow coming up although it doesn't snow here so you and took then, the fur edge off? yeah i took the fur off because it's raining today and i didn't want the fur to get nasty but it's faux fur and then the hood is also removable and if you want to ride or whatever you can always change 
where is it? Somewhere over here. Oh, there it is. You can, um, I have a really small head, so you can just pull it back. Yeah. Oh, so you can adjust the hood. Yes. Yeah, so um, any jacket, really, that it's comfortable to ride and work around will work for you. Um, the other thing is beanies, and I don't know what they're called, but they're like the headbands you put around, and they cover your ears, but you can still wear your hair up, because I like to work with my hair up. Um, so I have a Katego, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I've really been loving that one. Um, anything similar, and the ones that are like Sherpa lined like this, or fleece lined, are really comfortable and warm. It will keep your ears nice and warm. And then the last thing are gloves. I really like these gloves, they're the brand Head. I buy them from Costco. Normal price, they're about 12 bucks, but I buy them on clearance from Costco all the time for 10 to 12 dollars. Sorry seven to ten dollars normally twelve dollars these are great they're kind of water resistant and they are touch screen friendly so these keep my hands nice and warm working around the barn so i'm not going through really nice expensive gloves and then i lied the last thing is a really good chapstick i've been loving the mary's botanicals lemon chapstick it's really nice to keep your lips moisturized in the winter weather and then the last few things I have, it's not really for a horse or rider, it's kind of for around the barn. So what's really nice is to have a solar light because it does get dark earlier. I buy mine off Amazon. It works by solar power and it has an on and off switch. I have one in my tack room because we don't have access to keep things plugged in into the electrical outlets. And I have one in Mia's Corral so it's easy to clean her stall and do that kind of stuff. But it has an off switch so she's not constantly setting it off. Um, and then bedding pellets are amazing. They're like little wood pellets. Some people use stove pellets. I've used both depending on what they are and how much they are. Um, but basically, if you have a really muddy area, you can buy a bag of the bedding pellets, sprinkle them on the mud, and it makes it into more of a stable surface and not as deep mud, which is really nice. So that has been great. And I usually buy mine at Tractor Supply. And the last thing is an electric water heater. We do have outlets, but like I said, we can't plug things in and leave them like lights. Um, but we do have, or I have, an electric water heater. So it's really nice to be able to plug in the water heater and heat up a bucket of water. I can give the horses a warm bran mash if needed. Or what I really like to use it for is warming up water to clean my tack because no one wants to clean tack with freezing cold hands. So that's it. Those are my top five for horse and rider and stable stuff, I guess, for winter favorites. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.